and kind of feeding it to the, the audience, at, you know, in, in little bites allows the story to progress, but also helps you to see kind of what's going on in the world yeah. around him at that time. So like yeah. he's kind of encountering these these bites, you know, throughout the story, but he's holding on to this tome of times that explains the world that he's now encountering. Mm -hmm. That's what's so cool about it, because it's a good story. Like, even if you didn't go back and Google all the things, you know, it's just a yeah. good story, a good page turning story. But um, but you can you can go yeah. and look up all of this real stuff that's in there, you know, yeah. Um, and yeah. I don't think that's so neat. Like you can go back through, you can read it once and then go back through and, and learn. Yeah, you learn could be like. It. Wow, I really want to know about the Thunderbird. I really want to learn about the Staghorn Serpent. You can, you can, right. you can look at these Serpent. characters. Yes. Yeah. Let me show you guys one of the pictures. It's so well. Okay, this one. Um, he has a couple things with um, Stag. So the Staghorn Serpent, and then um, this uh, Bashnobi is that her name? Yes, but yes. she's look at this art. She's, or no, that's uh, I'm sorry. Bashnobi is is the the realm of it's almost like a purgatory. Oh, that's Diane. Okay. That's but right. Yes. yes. But she is so creepy. She's kind of like a siren in a way. So yes. Now yeah. this is one of the things that I kind of learned a little bit more post publishing the book. But Dear Woman is actually a highly regarded Native American um entity. Okay. She's not God, but she is but. a she's like a, a spirit of the forest type Weird. creature. Okay. Yeah. And they they hold her in high regard when i was learning about her she was a lot like a siren in my mind because her role is to punish um adulterous men she's oh. she's wow not, okay. not quite a trickster but somewhere along very much like a siren where she'll call out to the ones who would have her kind of thing mm -hmm. like she lures these men who are already willing to break yeah. their you know marital commitments or whatever they, these are these are guys looking for trouble right and she's kind of out there and she punishes them she kills them yeah. and so That's the funny. idea is that if you are a, you know pure heart and innocent and like a good person she won't bring you harm she's yeah. not necessarily a villain she's like an anti-hero and yeah. so she, i kind of wrote her a little bit more villainous in here where she's punished she's she's banished so yeah. Bashnobi is, like I said, it's like a purgatory. They set her aside because of kind of the tricks that she played on some of the bad other spirits. Yeah. So she she kind of took the wow. she took out some of her anger on them, and then that caused her to have to suffer a repercussion because of yeah. her actions. Oh God. Gotcha. And it it's, makes it's, me think. Uh, have you ever read um, C.S. Lewis's Till We Have Faces? No, but I love C.S. Lewis. Yes, you would love that book because it's kind of like yours in that he took, I mean, he, I think that's, I don't, which, it's Cupid and Psyche. It's the story of Cupid and Psyche, you know, but he um, just, he does like you, he made like mm. a whole story out of it, you know, and you have done that with Native American mythology. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, I, I was a big fan of his. I love the screw tape letters. And then oh, obviously, yeah, like uh, Narnia 